One of our core responsibilities is to prepare students for their careers and lifelong learning. Today, that means giving them more than knowledge. They need a learning superpower, one that prepares them to learn and adapt quickly in our dynamic and complex world. That superpower is metacognition. UOttawa alumnus Alex Trebek ran a masterful show in metacognition. If I'm a contestant, in which categories am I the most knowledgeable? How much do I bet in the final round? Do I know the answer? How much do I need in order to win? Metacognition has two parts, identifying what you know and what you don't know, and strategizing accordingly. It's not just for facts and information. It's for human skills too, like leadership and creativity. It helps us to continually adapt. As an example in a course, a student with high metacognitive skills might predict they were going to get an 80% on an assessment and they would achieve an 80%. In fact, ideally every student would have high metacognitive skills, which would allow them to decide on their goals and to strategize accordingly. What we don't want is a student who makes inaccurate predictions. For example, going in thinking they've met their goals and will get an 80 and being surprised when they come out with a 40. I'd like to show you an example of what our research is finding for students' metacognitive skills in real courses. So early in a semester and without training, student skills are really not good. And without those metacognitive skills, the strategy becomes simply to work harder and the students get stressed and their mental health is suffering. Some are seeking help, which can come too late. Others are simply deciding they're not good enough and the pandemic has made this situation that much worse. Professors are feeling the same kind of bind, wanting to help students succeed and themselves having implicit expertise in learning, but most not being trained to explicitly teach metacognition skills. So rather than students blaming themselves or professors blaming themselves, we're seeing great results by incorporating metacognition in courses. We've collaborated with learning experts to develop a module to teach metacognition and related skills in a way that's explicit, consistent, and scalable. The module integrates with existing courses and programs and aligns with the intended learning outcomes. We meet learners where they are, in their courses, and while they're learning. The students use the module to set, plan, and act on their goals. It helps them build metacognition skills using three main pillars developing a growth mindset, self-regulated learning skills of reflecting, planning, and acting, and developing mindfulness skills. I'm really excited about our results to date. So over 5,000 students have used the module in over 10 institutions. Those metacognitive skills increase greatly over a single semester. 95% of students are still using the module's concepts in a subsequent semester, even if subsequent courses don't use the module. For 80% of students, it's the first time they've done this kind of training. And over 75% of students complete the module with only a small incentive. If we could get all students working on their metacognitive skills, just imagine what the outcomes could be for our graduates. Everyone could build these skills, not just those in fortunate situations or those who are in acute or dire situations. Students would be better positioned for their careers and as agile, lifelong learners, empowered and in control of their learning. I invite you to learn more on our website or by connecting with me directly. It's our hope that the project we've started will not only help individual students and educators, but will also help our institutions achieve their main mission. Thank you.